And is it okay to approach? I think it's okay to approach a woman if they're out and about, like if they were going to a bar, going to a club. I would definitely not try to approach a woman if they're like at a grocery store or something like that. Grocery store, but then the same girls will also say, I want to meet a guy at Trader Joe's. It's so romantic. She's the same girl who wants to meet a guy at Trader Joe's. Come on, bro. If either of you were looking for a quality man, where would you expect to find one? I think a grocery store would be a Prime. And I love this channel. Really white men. Weren't you just talking about equality? Oh, absolutely. But we have to have that viewpoint because of how much we've been attacked just by that gender. You know? But you just said that all straight men are trash. Like, that's a pretty big generalization, don't you think? It definitely is. It's not necessarily something I'm going to, like, saying via statistics. I'm saying via experience. Would it be misogynistic if a man said all women are trash? Yes. It's the same way as, like, reverse racism. So in that case, isn't it kind of, you know, uh, misandry for a woman? to say that men are trash? Oh, I wouldn't say so. I mean, yeah. But... So are you a misandrist? Close to, but I'm trying to come out of that. Am I trash then? Sure, yeah. <laughs> and people like her are a big part of the problem. We cannot move forward if we have this mindset. It's, it's toxic. And I have one word. Hypocrisy. I love the mansplaining. I'm enjoying it. You're loving what? The mansplaining that's going on. What's... What well, just mean? talking me through how how what you, well you, by you, not answering the question what you, what you, what you, what you repeating suggesting? processes which are not related to the question that i've asked what's, what's mansplaining senator well it's the slightly patronizing and condescending way that you're responding right. to my questions well i would suggest senator that if you're putting the word man in front of uh, some description of what i'm doing you're doing that which i'm sure you're very much against is making a, a sexist implication about how I'm conducting my role well, as Well, then the easiest way what, to do is it... What, is that what well, you're saying, Senator? Well, what I'm saying is that the way you've been responding to me has been patronising and condescending, and I have responded to that. So the easiest by, by, way to deal with this is not, imagine, is, not ima to, imagine, Senator, is not to, imagine to have if that I said way you were in woman responding splaining. to the questions imagine I've Imagine the asked. reaction, Senator, if I said you were woman splaining. You're saying that I'm mansplaining. Well, it is a term that's used. Is it when, by whom? Well, by it rude, is a term that's used. By rude... Doesn't, doesn't make By rude senators. Uh, by senators no. who are seeking to make gender an issue. Stop being a hypocrite. Well, Conduct yourself it. appropriately for this well, place. I mean, that was close. <laughs> we can laugh about it now. We're all right, you know. <laughs> the whole... Uh... Yeah. You know the fashion. The women is not if, I, if I told you, you yeah, if I told you that the fashion world that you follow was designed by men, what would you say? Everything that you follow in fashion today is by men. Yeah. When you wear high heels. Because men are good at design. No, no, no. Hey. Yeah. I don't think the feminists will agree with you. Okay? They will tell you are you are going against the women's ability and their intellect. Yeah. Because the women can design very nicely. Alhamdulillah. Yeah. Yeah. Be single. Why would they have to? Like, like, I mean, I'm sorry, if you're the top 10, 20 percent of guys, they don't have to just be single. They can have a no, girlfriend then, then find and, a and they get no, but let, let, yeah. let me let you guys stop. Yeah. When, when they can get a girlfriend, cheat on her and we just talk to the panel. Y'all stay. It's not that <laughs> it's not that you need to have a girlfriend and cheat on her. Uh -huh. Have a girlfriend and tell her I'm not monogamous. So if you want to be with me and I give you these perks. Yeah, but why, why would he do that when he can just cheat on you and y'all no, stay? But, but this is but then when you get the toxic behavior from her, don't moan. When she then vandalizes your whole property. Okay, okay. Else, but why, why do we, why do we put our bad decisions on the men? Okay, isn't that like you're just toxic? No, because, it's because I, like, I've, I've been cheated on before. It wasn't, it wasn't fun. But I never did anything toxic or crazy or any, any of the oh. shit that I hear girls say. That, that's a you. That's a you no. problem. No man, no man can make you do crazy okay. shit. You're either crazy or you're not. Whoa, 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 so whoa, 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 whoa. You I... just said, hold on, wait, wait, wait. Did you just say every woman here is a pick me? Wait, 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 wait. wait. How yeah. is how is understanding how the other species operates and how what they value what they want a pick me when we always because say well wait 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 when we always say that they need to understand women they need to understand women it's like how are you supposed to be in a relationship with someone you when you get in a relationship with friends you try to understand your friends who and you want them to understand you so you can grow that relationship so you can be the best friend they have in that relationship how are you going to be one-sided and say oh we don't need to understand man we don't need to know this about men they need to understand us and how we operate and that's a pick me if we try to understand how they operate to be able to have a good relationship to not be single at 40 with 12 kids to not die alone with a dog how is that a pick me well fucking shit because you think that they're understanding or they're like are they not human no no of course they're human <laughs> you think that it is like 
it's truth, it's gospel, it's like determining the fact. Like, I, I cannot accept that. Um, you think those what, what's true? What's, what's, value. what's true? Like, what's you, gospel? You, you saying that oh, um, certain women. Ladies, we really need to talk. I first just want to preface and say that this video is in no way coming for this creator. I offer her nothing but love and support and compassion. I'm 32. I get it. But I do want to use this experience as a jumping off point to open a broader conversation. And I want to ask ourselves as women two things. Number one, at what point are we going to admit to ourselves that feminism lied to us? That feminism convinced us to spend our peak fertility years, which by the way, are a much shorter window than a man's. We're not tiny men. We have a completely different fertility cycle and window than men do. It convinced us to spend our peak fertility years on our careers, working for a man, for a corporation, for a power that benefits off of our taxable income. I heard nothing about my fertility window in this feminist context. I heard nothing about the very real possibility that I might have to freeze my eggs when I was in my mid-30s because I chose to focus on my career during my entire 20s. Especially for women who want families and who are interested in family life, this could be a very conflicting message and we could find ourselves in our mid-30s freezing our eggs, which yes, it's great that we have medical advances, but we have to ask ourselves, do we really want this? Is this what we want? This woman looks like she's in a lot of pain. It doesn't, it doesn't seem like a very attractive plan A, you know what I mean? And the second thing I want to ask ourselves is at what point do we choose to opt out of things like hookup culture and wasting our time with men that are not going to lead to a sustainable long-term partnership and family? Like at what point do we get our stuff together and really take our dating and our romantic lives seriously and date intentionally for a future family. I see it all the time in my comment section. I was guilty of it at one point, just like laughing at your own toxicity or your own emotional unavailability or, you know, going back to the same F boy over and over and over again. Like it's not cute if you really do want something real in the future, if you know that you're going to want something real in the future. Like starting to work on these things when you're young is the best strategy in my opinion. The best thing that you can do in both instances is ask yourself really what you want your life to look like in the next five years and 10 years and begin to align yourself with actions that lead to that end result. If you want a family, start healing your stuff now and dating intentionally now and making time in your career to date now so that that's a reality for you in the future. Really? In sports? Last I checked, a bunch of middle school boys defeated Megan Rapino in soccer, a sport that many people say she dominates. But that's only when she's against a bunch of girls, I suppose. What exactly did we do to be better than men? Are you aware of how you got here? Are you aware of who invented the iPhone that you're recording this incredibly sexist TikTok on? You see, that's not the girl power move everybody thinks it is. Women are better than men. Why? Creating competition where it's simply not necessary demonstrates incredible immaturity. And as a woman, I'm embarrassed. Look me in the eyes with a straight face and tell me why you would not tear apart a man if he said this. I'll wait. It's all fun and games until somebody reverses it. Then he has to be cancelled. But guess what? You must likely gain thousands of followers from this post. Because women right now garner a very unfair advantage in our society. And whether you'd like to admit it or not, it's there. Not in all cases, but definitely in this case. Please do us all a favor and keep your hatred of men to yourself. Sincerely, Lauren.